All right, so this is just going to be a, a little quick video. Uh, basically, you know, you, you probably noticed in the last video that there were some added elements to this. So I want to show you this, right? So I've added some tank weight stuff. I've added some other stuff. We've added some controls to this, um, and we're going to go over the controls. But uh, in efforts to save you time and effort, um, you know, we've we basically kind of went through how to build some of this stuff. So um, what we're going to do here is come back and just add some accents to this. So I'm going to add an accent, a panel, right? And just have it so it kind of sits out and it recesses in. So let's do like a three and let's do, we can do like an inset where it kind of insets in and we'll kind of get it to a, like a white color. Uh, have the border just like that. Kind of where it insets in and then we'll put this, arrange this to back just right click and arrange the back just like that that way it kind of stands out a little bit and you can see it and just to, just so you can kind of see the way that looks it easily you know you can easily kind of it pops out at you right so just in case you want to you know make something you know kind of similar to that or, or even have it a different color or, or something you know just have it so it kind of stands out and it's easy to see for the operator because that's the goal behind this right so in the efforts of what we just did, we can just copy and paste. So Control C, Control V. That's what I'm using on a Windows PC again. So I'm going to shrink this down, get this the right size. What you can do is you can put it up up here at the top and kind of get the sizes lined up. So get the sizes you know lined up as far as that goes, and then scroll this down just like this. And then when you send it back, it would look like that. So, um, it, you know, and it, it just kind of gives it a little bit more, uh, just a tad bit more, you know, kind of like look and feel. And it all depends on how you want it to do that, right? So control Z, Control V, Control C again, or Control C, Control V again. Do that one more time. Again, send it back. You can right click and send it back just like this and have it just like that and shrink this down just a little bit I don't want to eat up too much landscape but I do want to achieve my goal of actually having this looking and feeling you know just like custom right I mean make it look look good and this is part of why I, you know some of some of what I'm trying to do here is just kind of show you that it does take a little bit of effort to do you know make things look good and it's not all the fact of you know having great videos all the time it's not all about having you know great uh training sessions when sometimes it's just a matter of putting in a little bit extra effort to make it look nice and just really you know have it accent down right and that's kind of what i want to talk about why i'm i'm doing some of the things that i'm doing and, and showing that right and the reason i did an inset is this i'll show you this if i do if I do like a, a raised, you'll see it raised. So it really depends on where you want that. You can do a raised inset and see that would be kind of like a little pop up. And even that doesn't look bad, but let's not use the, let's just change the border a little bit and let's do this. So you can see that it adds a little bit more flair to it. Um, and again, that's it's really on how you want it to look and feel. And that actually kind of does look nice. So let's actually come in here and change that to a raised inset. Take away the border. Change the border to here. And it really does, it adds an extra little bit to it. Let's get that, this the right width. Right click it. Come in here, change this to a raised inset. Take away the border. Change the border color. Because with that checkbox, remember with that checkbox, the border equals the color you currently have. So let's look at let's look at that the way that feels live right now and see that that does kind of stand out a little bit. Uh, again, it really depends on how you want it to look and feel. So you know we'll come in here and change this a little bit and let's see if we get a different color if it adds a little bit more pop to it. So we'll look at this one. And it does look a little bit better. I think that 
I don't know. I I, I kind of I, I kind of think that that extra little bit of color adds that little bit more matching ability to it, right? And you you may or may not agree again that it's really based upon preference. It's based upon the way you think it should look, the way maybe your customer want, wants it to look, and again, really just depends on that. So we'll get this one more time. And with that said, we can do this one as well, but let's come in here, copy this and paste it one more time. Get this up here. This is gonna be a little bit different because, well, I guess maybe, maybe not, right? So we still wanna send, send it to back because we're sending it to back and we wanna have this, change this to here, just like that. And that way it looks that much better. Now, the only thing about this one is we're going to have to add, have this move this a little bit up. So we'll control V, control C again, have this a little bit further up than we normally would just because we're having that, that call out, right? And again, we could shrink the, if we wanted to, we could shrink everything down, but it really depends on how you want to see it, right? So let's, just, let's see the way that looks. And again, so we didn't have, oh, uh, one thing here is we have the animation. So we need to throw this animation in here. So that's a good good thing we kind of, we did the, the testing there, right? Remember I told you testing, do your due diligence and testing, right? Do make sure you test everything because when you come up here and test, now you see that we made a common mistake when we did that, right? So. Uh, now and we again we can just pop out these numbers if we wanted to too if we just think okay well the only important thing is showing the number then we want to come down here and we can just do that show that just like that and maybe that maybe that looks a little bit better to you I don't know you know it, it really depends on the way you want it to look and I'm trying to give you a couple different options here just so you kind of get the look and feel of how things should you know can and can't be right or or maybe they should or shouldn't be I don't want to say can or can't be because I'm trying to get this thing just to, to look that much better and really kind of get that detail itemized down right that detail look behind it I really like that right I think that looks a lot better than what we we were doing and that just to me looks a little bit better right because it actually calls out the number and it makes it look that much better and even down here let's do that one more time call it the pounds and then do this down here I don't know this one is perfectly fine because it's not going to be shown all the time and this one would be right here we'll shrink this down just a little bit shrink that down Let's see call that over just a little bit shrink it down have it just like that and again it's all in the details right so how do you want it to look you know how do you want all the stuff to look and feel and even with that said we can kind of shrink that down shrink this take away the space let's take away the space and have this move this up just like this Kind of shrink that down list just a little bit. And move that up. And tighten this up just a little bit. And that gives it that extra little bit, right? So see how that looks. Now again, the the way maybe that's a little too too much as far as this. So we can come in here and itemize this down. It kind of and it, it all depends on how it looks on your runtime. And when I say runtime, I mean, cause see, see how this G is? So it kind of, I don't know, it almost looked better with the space in there to me. So let's throw that in there. So the space in there and let's shrink this down just a little bit and kind of shrink it down just a little bit more. That way it does that. And then we'll come over here, get back here do that and you can see how that looks and you can separate these two right you can separate those the letters and the words in here so if we wanted to 
we come over here and highlight this up we can copy it copy and paste it if we want to we can just do that come over here and delete this delete this to here put that in there and then come over here edit this one where it's not so much right just do that and then we'll put that right back down here just like this and let's get this this kind of scroll down scroll into this move it where it's right in the center and now we can move this above this and give it the proper spacing so if you can't get the proper spacing there's always a way to do it it's just a matter of how you want it to look right so let's come over here zoom out it really looks a lot better and it looks like that now so if we run our screen we'll see that right so again running the screen looks nice easy just it makes it like pop out just that much better and again I hated to make a long video doing that but I wanted to show you as we're doing this the reason behind me not showing you you know every single detail of like every edit that we've done we've done a lot of editing but every time we do something very very uh, detailed and stuff like that I just want to show you a couple different options kind of open your eyes and show you hey you know take the time make sure you spend the time to make sure it looks good and then come back and then the, like see make the little subtle tweaks to tweaks and stuff like that to make it just that much better right so make it custom make it feel good make it look nice uh, any uh, I guess anybody can program it right so anybody can learn and grow and, and program things and get make it make it functionally work but can anybody really make it look good right it takes that extra little bit to make it look good and really stand out and make that 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 HMI and that that program really pop at you to really look and feel and have that customer ability right to have that again the goal is to have the people behind you whether it be the operator or whether it be the engineer or whether it be anybody that works behind you technician or anybody make sure that they look behind it and they're kind of and they're like wild behind it right you may have heard the statement before that you know it's the times when nobody's looking and you work the hardest and you take the most pride in things that often pay off the best right and that's really where it comes down to it so again some of you may not like the way it looks some of you may like the way it looks this is all in the preference I'm just building this out showing you how things are done and showing you how things are done like it to me this looks okay right it could it could use a lot better but again coming back to it I don't necessarily want to take a whole bunch of video timing and doing the training and showing you the little details of everything so when it comes down to it we'll uh, we'll conclude with this video I just want to show you one video of me you know what I'm doing in, in the main you know in, in between videos and stuff like that so you're not seeing every single thing I want to show you one video on how to do that so again uh, without me rambling on any more about that uh, again we'll see you guys on the next one